Well, I've started the recording. I'm not seeing my live streaming button as I normally do. So, worst comes to worst, I will post this one instead of live streaming, but I'll double check that um, while we start talk talking about OKRs. Um, Matt, do you wanna do you wanna start with that? Yeah, sure. I, I mainly just threw this in here since there's nothing else on the agenda. And I know all the working, a lot of the working groups are working on their OKRs now. So we could use this time to check in about that. And um, I think that there's sort of a preliminary presentation happening on Wednesday where a bunch of the working groups are going to be presenting their OKRs to each other. Um, and then I expect that that would mean next week, next Monday, we will all present them on this call is that, but that's, I don't want to be inventing things, <laughs> but that's how we've done it in the past is like once the OKRs are done, then, then on this call you can read them. Um, actually Lytle, Lytle and all, well, no, David's here. So David, do you have a plan of like when the working groups are going to present their OKRs to the broader community? So this time we uh, just decided to make one presentation or actually we didn't decide to make one presentation. We just decided to make the practice presentation an open one so that anyone can join. Um, so it, they will happen this Wednesday starting at the same time as this call starts and everyone is invited. Uh, if you want to learn what is the plans for uh, next quarter from all the working groups, there will be um, a presentation from each, like 10 minutes plus Q&A. Um, there is an issue on IPPSPM. I can link here to Zoom and post on the notes. And essentially, like the, anyone that wants to join and, uh, and listen in is very welcome. Um, until then, the OKR should be already on the OKR spreadsheet. So someone wants to take a peek, um, make a comment with a question, feel free to do it. Um, after Wednesday, teams can still adjust the OKRs. They have till October 4th to adjust, especially based on feedback they, they might get this Wednesday or throughout the rest of the week. Um, but after October 4th, they should be like frozen and good to go. So keeping in mind that there are now two, there are also two demos listed, I just figured, is anyone who's working on their OKRs, do you have things you want to float on this call, sort of get feedback from other people, or is there anything you're stuck on? Um, just use this time to, to discuss, otherwise we can go straight to the demos. Anyone planning anything really big in their OKRs they want to? tell people about. Okay, all right. Well then, I think let's go to the demos, Molly. Molly, oh, right. yeah. I know, I know. <laughs> I was telling myself I needed to unmute myself first. Uh, all right then, let's, let's jump straight into demos. Um, and looks like, um, actually Matt, would you mind continue taking notes throughout the demos? Cause you, you did touch a god Good job documenting your, your check in OKR section. Um, so Actually, jumping into demo. Who, no. who typed that? Who, who took the great notes? We can give you credit. I'm subbing in. Anonymous Fox. Thank you, Anonymous Fox. I think it was Jacob, wasn't it? It's always Jacob. Jacob, you are <laughs> the best. Thank you so much. Um, all right, Jacob, thank you so much for always vol volunteering to be note taker. Um, it's phenomenal. It's, does someone else want to volunteer to be note taker? Because we really appreciate you and we don't want to give you always this burden. Awesome. Eric, go for it. <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't always be Jacob. Appreciate it. Jacob, you can follow me in the Google Doc, and if I do a bad job, you can just type. Upgrade everyone's capabilities. Yeah, exactly. All right, so first off, demos. Alan, talking about JS CID tool. Hi, yeah. Uh, let me just share my screen. Uh, this is something super small. Uh, share, here we go, where are the buttons? Cool, okay, so are we all good with seeing that? Yeah, cool. Um, 
Cool, okay, so this is just something small. Um, Kyle originally, a while ago, requested uh, some sort of tool for converting hashes. Um, and then uh, Kevin made a kind of pretty good kind of MVP proposal for that and submitted a pull request and uh, to go IPFS. And it, uh, it didn't look like it had a lot of pushback on it. So um, I went ahead and created a uh, JS version of that, which does pretty much the same thing, um, which can be integrated into IPFS as well. Um, and it's basically for um, easing the transition uh, to base32 CID version ones, um, just allows you to kind of convert to uh, base32 allows you to inspect kind of properties of CID bases, allows you to use um, a, a format thing, which is basically uh, the, well, a, a kind of port of the existing Go CID format tool. Um, and yeah, so let me, let me just demo it if possible I can. Well, there we go. Okay, forget that. Cool, so you should just be able to npm install uh, CID tool, tool. Um, and you can do that globally. Um, and that will download you a CID tool uh, pretty quickly if you're lucky. And then you should just be able to type CID on the command line and um, have at your fingertips available some, some commands. Um, so if you wanted to uh, convert from a, uh, a, a, an old style um, base58 encoded CID, you might type CID base32 and then a uh, old style CID with a QM in front of it um, and it should just print out the base32 encoding of that same, so that's that same CID but base32 encoded. So that's kind of cool. And then you can do stuff like um, list out the uh, multi-base encodings that are available by just typing bases. And then you can do like, like you can do help on any of these commands to get some information. So I can, I can also do prefix to show the prefixes for these bases. So you see base 32 should start with B and it does, um, which is great. Um, so, CID, da, da, da. so yes, so I can look at the CID codec names, da, 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 just list, the, list them out, uh, which is kind of fun. Um, and then, uh, yeah, what else, what else? So, and then also the, the, uh, the, like the names of the hashing algorithms for, um, for your multi-hash, uh, just list them out there. Um, and then again, I can do like, help for any of these and I can type, I can get that numeric code printed out as well. Um, so yeah, this is just all sort of information. Um, but the kind of the fun, the fun bit about it is like the CID format, um, command, which is like allows you to format a CID in like, it allows you to pick out bits of the CID, um, that are encoded within it. Um, but also allows you to, um, print it out in a different base or a different version. Um, so if I type help, then I can get like the list of um, format specifiers that I can use um, in my format string, um, but I can also change the version, change the base. So I have an example. Um, so this is a base, oh, whoa, 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 uh, a base 64 encoded CID I've got here. So if I put CID format uh, and then I paste this guy in and then say, well, my format string is going to be something like, well, I, what, what would I like to pick out with this? I can pick out the multi-base name, so percent %b, um, the CID, let's do the CID version, and then for that, I need percent %v. Um, and then uh, the, what else should we print out? The multi-hash name, uh, which is percent %h. Um, and then I should just get out something that looks like this. So like I said, that is a base 64 encoded CID. It's a version one CID encoded with, uh, or hashed with the SHA-2256 uh, hashing algorithm. So fun times. Um, and then you can do, so with that, you can do stuff like, okay, um, I, I want to print out that CID, uh, but actually I want to encode it with base, uh, base 32, uh, sorry, base, base 32. Um, so that should print out a Baffy for me like that. 
Um, so the, this is kind of this is kind of cool that it's kind of also a stand, it's a standalone kind of tool that you can use, but because it's using the same kind of um, uh, CLI args processor as IPFS does, it's really trivial to just include it in IPFS as well. So eventually you'll be able to do like IPFS CID and then like base thirty two. Um, oh yeah, so what I didn't say was base CID base thirty two is basically a um, a kind of shortcut for, for that. Um, and that's about all I have to say. Uh, it's just something simple and easy, um, and it should aid the adoption of Base32 and help people with it um, if we're lucky. Um, if you have any questions, then go wild and ask me now. Are there any, any hands for questions? All right, very awesome. This is super cool. Thank you so much. Lots of thumbs up. All right. Uh, Lytle, do you want to go next? Demoing IPFS translation project. Yeah, so uh, I quickly share my screen. It's like a final update on this uh, ongoing effort. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, so, Apart from having a IPFS organization on TransFX, we now have a, a translation project repository on GitHub with some basic documentation, uh, best practices, some steps how to add the uh, translation uh, to your existing project, some notes on TransFX itself, uh, reference to the most important parts of documentation because like TransFX has a very extensive doc docs and not everything is relevant that much. Um, so that's like a closing note. If you want to add your project, you can get familiar with uh, those steps and then request adding new project to TransFX using issues on this repo. And then you will land here eventually. And that's that. So if there are any questions, I can answer them. Any questions? How many, how many people's repos are already set up with, with the translation and are starting to get translations in? We've got like a four or five projects and we have about 50 translators That's for awesome. wow. about 20 languages. And yeah, like the translation community is uh, growing. So I'm, I'm very excited for this. That's awesome. Good work. Jazz hands. Oh, yeah, right. I was going to ask, but I, I guess I, you probably answered, which is, have you seen like an increase or a significant increase in people showing up to offer to translate? Um, like are these 50 translators post this project or were they already? Oh, wow. <laughs> I, can, I can like quickly share a companion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know, like, oh, right. Uh, across I all projects. You know, <laughs> at some point we have to invent more languages so that the curve kind of keeps going down. <laughs> yeah, like it, it's it, it's great and uh, basically <laughs> access to uh, like re reports, right? So ignore me, <laughs> but like people are yeah. actively, people are actively translating, and we should uh, we should uh, mention them in like newsletter and stuff like that because it's, it's awesome. It's awesome with yeah. your native language uh, when you install like Companion or play with new web UI and stuff like that. I, I love this. I, I think we should like do a blog post just to announce that like this is happening. Like now that it's an option and also it's happening and that everyone is being super cool about like having their own language. Yeah, yeah. Awesome work. All right. Um, are there any other 
topics that people would like to discuss today. Um, something that I think we normally do at the beginning, but is anyone else new and wants to introduce themselves to the rest of the community um, or, you know, new, newish? All right, thought I'd ask. Um, all right, any, any other things? Otherwise, looks like we're gonna get a little bit of time back. Um, I think one of the things I'll propose to the two future dev calls that are going to happen later later today is that we do spend a time actually looking at the Q3 and Q4 spreadsheets as a group. Um, it could be really useful to one have us all be able to respond to that synchronously, um, and two kind of helps us drive. Oh my goodness, we actually need to grade this thing. I need input from these three different people. Let's do that really quickly. Um, so definitely, especially on the Go side. Folks, this is your half hour to, to check in on all of those various Go OKRs and, and give yourself a grade for them. And if you need to ping someone, ping someone and let's, let's get them graded. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Um, we'll see you again in a week and I'm gonna stick this recording online since live streaming foiled us again. We'll do our best. I'll try and diagnose what went wrong. I see everything green on my side. So I'll ping David with questions. All right then, thank you and have a great week everyone. See you all on various OKR calls.